Thank you for making the first step with GovReports. Setting up your account to start GovReporting can be done in minutes. Setting up Google Authentication as an option for two-factor authentication for a secured login. This option is most reliable and preferred than the options of third-party services such as email, or text to mobile phone. For those who have yet used Google Authenticator, to apply on your GovReports account, you will need to install the Google Authenticator app on your smartphone, and set up prior to use. If you already have Google Authenticator on your phone from other software applications, then scan the QR code to use for GovReports. To enable Google Authenticator as part of your GovReports login process, please log into your GovReports account, and from the main dashboard, click on Settings on the top right corner, and select My Account. In My Account screen, click on Security Setting. You will find Google Authenticator, and click on Enable. GovReports will display the unique barcode for your account, as well as the manual code. Open the Google Authenticator app on your phone, and begin the setup process. If you haven't used Google Authenticator yet, go to the App Store on your phone, select and download Google Authenticator. Scan the barcode. Then enter the code issued by Google Authenticator manually, and complete your setup. Once this is done, your next GovReports login will have three security code options to choose from including email, SMS text message, and or Google Authenticator code. Organization Setup the next step is to set up your business. Organization setup will be fulfilled with basic business details given at the time of registration. You can now update additional information of your business, and click Save and Next, to complete the initial setup. You can preview, or update business details by going to Settings icon, and Select Organization Profile ATO Software Nomination to connect your GovReports account to ATO for direct online lodgements, and any other ATO services. You will need to nominate GovReports as your cloud, online, software provider, before being able to lodge forms. To set up and complete the ATO nomination process, click Generate to get unique software number specific for your business. Now you can either call ATO via telephone on 1300-8532. 2-2, to advise them of your unique software ID number you've generated, and click, Activate Nomination, and Submit. Or, Log in to Access Manager from ATO Portal with your, MyGov credentials. Select My Hosted SBR Software Services. Click, Notify the ATO of your hosted service. To nominate GovReports. Use the online software provider search facility to retrieve GovReports details, then use the clickable ABN to select GovReports. Enter the software ID provided to you by GovReports. Read the declaration and confirm by clicking Save on the right hand side. A successful notification will appear confirming GovReports as your online software service provider. Your account after confirmation and activation will be ready for lodgements, and for ATO services. Account Settings Other relevant account settings for your account are My Profile Enable you to make changes to your initial setup contact details, upload profile image, set alias name, and allows changing the username and password of your GovReports account. Go to Settings icon, and select My Account. Choose My Profile. Personalize outgoing emails. Customize outgoing emails with your own email to send pay slips or group certificate to your employees directly. Gov reports from your own email, including send out email for digital signature. Your employees will feel safer with emails coming from your usual email address. And depending on the user's email service providers, the setting up process can be different. From your business list, go to settings by clicking the gear icon, and select My Account, and then choose, Email Setting. The initial, and default setup, outgoing email is from GovReports, and to personalize, and configure your own email settings, click Edit, Email Setting. Change the provider from the given drop-down, configure your own email address, and its corresponding password. Gmail, and Microsoft Office require additional settings to send email from external tools or applications like GovReports.
If you are using Gmail or Microsoft Office as your provider, and if two-factor authentication is enabled, then you will be required to create an app password, and update the same password in GovReport's email setting password box. Customize email templates. Customize the content of the system-generated emails that are sent to your employees by modifying the email templates. From your business main dashboard, go to Settings icon, and select, More Settings. Select, Email Templates. From Send Payslip, click, Show Mail Content. Modify the contents, and subject of the email, and save, General Setting. To configure General Settings, go to Settings, More Settings, Preferences. General Setting. Through the General Settings, you can customize your invoice by selecting your preferences, for the various options provided below. Invoice setting. You can configure the invoice settings with bank details, terms and conditions, and customer notes by moving to settings, more settings, preferences, invoice setting, prepare and lodge activity statement. It is necessary to configure the IAS, or BAS link setup in IAM, before you start generating activity statement. To configure, go to Reports, Taxation, IAS or BAS. Select BAS Link Setup. Make changes to default configuration suitable for your business, and save changes. Select Period, and click Run Report, and choose Generate Report, and lodge the activity statement to ATO. There are many more features to explore, when you start using the system. We have webinar recordings listed from the website and you can watch them at your convenience, or just contact us for support. We look forward to hear from you soon.